boys, I'm back with a story for you. So today's story is for our student whose initials are J-O. Frog and Toad are friends. What kind of book? Paperback. What's this page, boys? The title page. We have the title of the book, the author, who is also the illustrator in this case. It's an I can read book. And the publisher is Harper and Rowe. The story in this book that I'm going to read to you today is called Spring. So we know the month is April. Do we know what season it is now? We just had winter. Winter is over now. And now we are in the spring. So I'm gonna read the story called Spring. In this book, it, it starts on page four. Spring. Frog ran up the path to Toad's house. He knocked on the front door. You can't hear me knocking. <laughs> there was no answer. Toad, Toad, shouted Frog. Wake up, it's spring. Blah, said a voice from inside the house. Toad, Toad, cried Frog. The sun is shining. The snow is melting. Wake up. I'm not here, said the voice. Frog walked into the house. It was dark. All the shutters were closed. Toad, where are you? called Frog. Go away, said the voice from a corner of the room. Toad was lying in bed. He had pulled all the covers over his head. Frog pushed Toad out of bed. He pushed him out of the house and onto the front porch. Toad blinked in the bright sun. Help, said Toad. I cannot see anything. Don't be silly, said Frog. What you see is the clear, warm light of April. And it means that we can begin a whole new year together, Toad. Think of it, said Frog. We will skip through the meadows and run through the woods and swim in the river. In the evenings, we will sit right here on the front porch and count the stars. You can count them, Frog, said Toad. I will be too tired. I'm going back to bed. Toad went back into his house. He got into the bed and pulled the covers. Oh, sorry. He, he got back into bed and pulled the covers over his head again. But Toad, cried Frog, you will miss all the fun. Listen, Frog, said Toad, how long have I been asleep? You've been asleep since November, said Frog. Well then, said Toad, a little more sleep will not hurt me. Come back again and wake me up about half past May. Good night, frog. And then he goes back to sleep. But Toad, said frog, I will be lonely until then. Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. Frog looked at Toad's calendar. The November page was still on top. Frog tore off the November page. He tore off December and the January page, the February page, and the March page. He came to the April page too. Frog tore off the April page too. Why did he do that?
just tearing off all the months. Then Frog ran back to Toad's bed. Toad, Toad, wake up, it's May now. What, said Toad, can it be May so soon? Yes, said Frog, look at your calendar. Toad looked at the calendar. The May page, is, the May page was on top. Why, it is May, said Toad as he climbed out of bed. Then he and Frog ran outside to see how the world was looking in the spring. And that's the end of the story, Spring, in this book, Frog and Toad are friends. So tomorrow I will read you another story. So boys, before I close out this video, I want to review our counting by twos. So boys, remember when we count by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten. So today I'm going to add two more. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I will see you tomorrow with a another story. I want you to practice counting by your twos to 12 now, five times. I want you to practice your counting by fives, five times to 60. And I want you to practice counting by tens to 100, also five times. Okay, boys, I will see you next time. Bye.